Lucifer and Detective Chloe's funniest and most memorable scenes in the series. Hey there, still waiting for more action from the devil? Lucifer Season 5 has been released last August, leaving us with less episodes than the last season, and with quite a cliffhanger too, but you can't deny the comical touch that sometimes makes the show seem like a brilliant comedy series, even though it's not. Hello, bad guys! But it entertains the audience anyway. Not to mention those scenes that make you go, aww, but still there. If you love that about Lucifer, then you'll love this one. We give you Lucifer and Detective Chloe's funniest and most memorable scenes in the series. Let's go! Hello to you, take one. A message from Lucifer. In episode one, the imposter Chloe and Maze was chasing got hit by a car and died. And as Chloe checks the corpse, this guy just straight up comes back to life. Looking like a zombie, he casually tells he's a demon sent by Lucifer. And Chloe's very chill like it's an average Tuesday for her. Which it probably is by now. The Lord Lucifer sent me to give you a message about the case. Lucifer. Oh. How is he? Uh, he's the king of hell, so he's great. <laughs> oh. The guy dies again right after cheering Chloe and checking out Maze. Yep, just an average Tuesday. Chloe and Lucifer meeting the first time after he left. If you have watched season five, you know that Michael pretending to be Lucifer. But in episode three, when the real Lucifer meets Chloe again, after he left quite a show. The first few minutes Lucifer got in the office, Chloe was having none of it, thinking he was Michael. She was straight up ready to pull a gun on him, again. And just how we like to flex the blue thumbs up button below, Lucifer proves he's the real one by flexing his perfectly folded pocket square. That's Lucifer for you. Look at the hair. Well, the, the perfectly arranged pockets where could Michael pull this off? I don't think so. And you know Chloe knows this because of that too. Chloe confirming the real Lucifer. The moment Chloe realizes that it's really Lucifer, she just softens up and stutters. She attacks him with a hug, which Lucifer gives back, and they just stand there, breathing each other in, breathing a sigh of relief. And the conversation they had after showed so much affection from just words after the confessions they left in season four. Oh, I just need me some of that. Chloe's portrayal in Diablo. In episode three, Chloe and Lucifer investigate the case linked to someone who happens to be a Lucifer who creates his own version of Lucifer's life into his own take in a TV show. Watching the shooting, in storms what seems like a very lewd version of the detective, and you can see in Chloe's face just mortified while Lucifer is entertained by the scene. Later, Chloe still in shock questions Lucifer how he described her, and Lucifer explains that the show just took some creative license. Obviously it took some creative license. Chloe and Lucifer's fight in the end of episode three. After Lucifer beat up Michael, he goes to Chloe's place, frustrated, in which Chloe's pent-up emotions finally releases. She admits the stress she's been in being caught up with these celestials and said out loud, angry, how she's in love with the devil, which is one of the reasons why she was so mad and feels like her life isn't her own. I am just a person, Lucifer. Lucifer admits that he has literally waited thousands of years in hell looking for the day he meets her again which just pinched our hearts a little. Ain't that right, Lucifans? When Chloe agreed meeting Lucifer after their big fight. At episode five, Chloe finally agrees to meet Lucifer, getting more than 57 calls, 100 messages, a billboard, and an ill-conceived stripper gram, which is what you could expect from Lucifer. But other than that being funny, it's really nice because you know Lucifer wouldn't do that for anyone else. I wonder what those people passing by that billboard thought. Like, who the hell is Chloe? Is this a prank? Or what kind of advertisement is this? Just staring into Lucifer's big apology message by the street. Lucifer trying to help Chloe cope. After agreeing to meet Lucifer, Chloe finds herself staring at a gift box by the beach, where you guessed it, where they had their first kiss. And you know Lucifer thought of this hard how to help Chloe and fix their relationship, making this metaphor for her in the same way that helped him cope. And you can see how invested and genuine he really is with Chloe. In the end of this scene, Chloe rejects it, but Lucifer did not give up. Lucifer bringing Aminadil to talk to Chloe. Lucifer came talking about his relationship problem with his brother Aminadil, and later talking to Chloe. Lucifer's just sitting there all worried and hopeful, while Aminadil explains right after he visited Earth, she was born. To which Chloe sat down so seriously and replied, Aminadil, are you my dad? Misunderstanding the term, laid a blessing. One of the funniest scenes, I tell you. Aminadil. You're my dad. And that's kids is why we need to learn good comprehension so we don't misunderstand who our father is. Chloe after Aminadil and Lucifer talk to her about being a gift. After 
after Aminadil explains truth, she immediately asks if she has any cool abilities. Looking for those superpowers like they have, I don't know, laser beam hands? Something? Chloe looked hopeful while the two looked so sorry for her and just looks at each other for not knowing what to say or maybe what was going on in her head, knowing well that she was a human. I don't know, laser beam hands, something? But come on, laser beam hands are kind of cool. The theory on Lucifer's vulnerability. Aminadale shares to Chloe how he thinks Lucifer just chooses to be vulnerable around her. Chloe goes to Lucifer and tells this, and Lucifer immediately realizes they were right. Chloe tells him she chooses to be vulnerable with him too, and this is big because of the two had their walls and guard up from letting people in from season one. This development is just big as they let down their walls and take a risk for each other. In this scene, they also share their first kiss after Lucifer left in season four. Yes, ring the alarm how you ring the notification bell. We've been waiting for four seasons, people. Give me that affection. Lucifer getting jealous. The morning after their kiss in episode five, Chloe and Lucifer come to a new crime scene in episode 6, where the detective meets the famous DJ, who happens to be her ex-boyfriend. Lucifer notices them and keeps swooping in, attacking the guy with a party flute, and the guy is like, what the hell, smeared subtly on his face, and just doesn't care riling up Lucifer even more. Finally, Lucifer and Chloe get steamy. After four seasons, a hell without Lucifer number of episodes, Chloe and Lucifer get steamy and sleep together in episode 6. You can see how they kiss each other and like how the Lucifans have been waiting so long for. You know the couple have been waiting to be together too. You can see in their kisses the tension and longing for each other like the dam of water breaking, which is not the only thing breaking soon, if you know what I mean. That morning after Lucifer and Chloe sleeps together. The night before was just steamy, passionate, and full of longing. But the morning after that in episode 7 was just cute. Lucifer stares at Chloe sleeping and we wonder what's going through his head. He loves this woman to the core and has been waiting for her for thousands of years, which is true in hell where Lucifer has been. And the funny thing is, with all this love Lucifer is admitting at Chloe, she wakes up to snorting and laughing up some jokes with Lucifer, getting that breakfast burrito. There, mojo. Popping those jokes early in the morning in episode 7, Chloe asks Lucifer as a joke, what do you truly desire? For breakfast, which all loose fans know is Lucifer's line and a special power that makes people admit their deepest desires. What happens is Lucifer, with no hesitation and control, said he wants to get sexy with her numerous times again, and he realizes his mojo has been stolen, and talks to Chloe about sleeping together again like his mojo is some sort of transmittable disease, which had the Lucifans spinning in tears. Rescuing Chloe In episode 8, Chloe had her DIY club ready to whip the hell out of Michael after being kidnapped by him. The second she uses that bad boy, she instantly regrets it, realizing she hit Lucifer. They greeted each other with a kiss where you can see how much they worried and missed each other. And they surely wouldn't want to miss the subscribe button and miss on the good stuff, if you know what I mean. In that scene, Lucifer holds Chloe like she would disappear out of his arms. And it's just the affection we were all waiting for. Did Lucifer and Detective Chloe's funniest and most memorable scenes in the series boost your day? Let us know in the comments which moments were your favorite. And if you like this, we're sure you'll love Lucifer's series best and most unforgettable scenes on all seasons. See you in the next video.